Hey guys, how you doing? This is Q coming to you from DIY Genesis. In today's tutorial, I wanted to talk to you about um, that secondary navigation here, this section here, and of course we have primary navigation. But the, the real big question came up actually because I'm a part of the Genesis WordPress Facebook group, and I come here oftentimes just trying to see what people are asking questions about and how I can be of assistance and how I can aid, and also just how I can actually learn. So uh, just a great tip if, you, if you're looking to learn more, if you want to understand a little bit more. But one of the things that I find, like in this particular case, I want to give credit to Mr. Damien Carberry here and um, Mr. Um, Biswiss, uh, if I believe that's how you pr pronounce that, I'm not sure. But I want to give them credit because he asked the question about how to remove uh, secondary menu um, navigation from post pages. So I thought that was a great question. I didn't know the answer right off the top of my head. And then, of course, Mr. Damien Carberry here, he actually uh, posted a snippet of code. So what I wanted to do this tutorial about is how to actually input this snippet of codes to see if this actually works the way it's supposed to. So um, I'm going to jump over to uh, Mr. Carberry's um, GitHub account. And he posts in here exactly what this does. It hides menu on single post. Uh, description hide the after header menu when on single post. So if we go back to the actual page, we'll see this is after the header menu. So this is the, the header menu. This is the, the logo section in the, in the section right here for the ad um, banner. And then we got have this secondary navigation. Now, he talked about on post. So when we're talking about posts, we're talking about these here. These are the blog posts. So if we go into any one of these, this secondary navigation here should go away once we actually put that other code in. So let's talk about that a little bit. So let's go back to Mr. Cadbury's uh, GitHub account. Now this right here, this bit of code is something we're going to, um, we're going to just copy this and this is going to go in our functions.php file. So I'm going to just highlight that copy and I have a, uh, of course, my local site is running and I'm going to go into my theme editor, appearance theme editor. Yep, I understand. And see my fun our functions PHP file there. Now I can take this code and really actually what I want to do is go back because this is a great idea. Uh, I'm going to copy the comments just to know what's going on, just to make sure I have it copied and I'll, I'll use this. And what we want to do is we can see there's add action here. Um, any of these sections here, we can just kind of go down here and open up a spot and find a space we want to put it. And we'll just paste it in. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to update the file and file edit it successfully. So that's what we want. Now, when we go back here, we're going to refresh this and voila. Our primary navigation is still in place. And then when we go back to the main page, notice the navigation is there. But if we go to any of our post pages, which is what the gentleman asked about, uh, Mr. Biswas, uh, he asked about any of those pages, that navigation goes away. So we can see that that code snippet worked beautifully, outstanding. So um, I wanted again to talk to you guys a, a little bit about that. And so we understand a little bit. This right here is actually what's called a, um, a hook. And this is an add action hook. And we can see that it's going to affect the Genesis after header. And this is the function call. This is a priority that is going to call it in. So this is the function here. And you see this name here matches this because this add action is going to actually call this. And then it's saying if there is any single post, just like this, any single post, call this remove action after the, gen the Genesis after header, and it's going to say um, remove the Genesis um, do sub nav. So what it's doing right here, this function is telling it to remove that navigation that we saw back when we first looked at it, the navigation that is no longer there. So guys, I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you. I hope it was informative. And if you have any questions about it or if you're looking for something different or you want to see a different video, please let me know. I'll be glad to shoot that video. I'm glad to give you that information. Again, remember to please hit that like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Um, please make sure that you uh, share and you um, comment in the description below. 
And I look forward to um, giving you guys great tutorial and great content from this point going forward. So until next time, guys, this has been Q with DIY Genesis.